Hey guys, what is up? It's Numberside20 here, or Lucas bringing you guys the results of my first ever trade day for Hockey Ultimate Team in NHL 14. Uh, let's just get out right into this. Uh, my first player up was Mike Richards, who does not have a trade on him. Uh, not a big deal. Don't really care. Uh, Niemi with two trades on him, but I'm going to leave uh, him, Jordan Stahl, and I think it was Mike Camilleri till, till the end. Uh, let's check out what Taylor All has. Um, so start of the week, Mike Smith, Chris Stewart, Ryan Kessler, Mike Camilleri. Um, I'd say Mike Smith goes for around 40. Uh, that's like a thousand and like 30. Um, and Camilleri goes for like 10. Uh, so that, yeah, that doesn't add up to about, I want, I'm looking for about 160 for Taylor Hall. So that does, doesn't add up for me. So I'm going to reject that offer. Uh, Jay Bomeister in a hundred K. Uh, Bomeister goes for like 15 to 20 K now. Um, I mean, it's not a bad trade. But it's just not what I'm looking for at the moment. Ooh, Keith Yandel in 100K. Um, I know Yandel's going for around 60. If not, and he'll probably go up after um, this week's over and he's out of packs. So let's delay that offer. Uh, Bobby Ryan, Ryan Callahan, uh, Tyler Zajac, and Adam Cracknell. Uh, Hockey fights cancer. Uh, Bobby Ryan used to go for a lot, like 60, 70K. Uh, Callahan doesn't go for much. He does Zajac. And Cracknell's just discard price. Uh, so I have a better offer on the table, so I'm going to reject that one. Uh, Spets and Seinberg, yeah, I have a better offer on the table, so I'm just going to reject that again. Uh, and let's get into the uh, the uh, Niemi trade. Um, Statlock in 100K or Pavlek in 500K. Um, Statlock goes for about, I think, when I last checked, he was about, uh, I think, 1 to 2K. So it's about 3k while Pavlek is like 2k himself and 500. So I think I'm gonna take the stat lock one. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take the stat lock trade. So enjoy your Anthony Niemi. Uh, I will enjoy my stat lock. Yeah, he sold for 4k last, so that's definitely a better offer. Uh, so thank you very much, and let's move on to the door install. My one trade, uh, Derek Roy in 1k. There you go, bud. Thanks for sending me an offer. I told you guys that if I don't get, uh, I'll accept the offer no matter what, pretty much. And uh, so there we go, 2k pretty much for uh, Stall, Jordan Stall. Nothing for match packs already, and Taylor Hall has one left on him. Well, Mike Camilleri has two. Uh, Seth Griffin, two Flames jerseys, and Small International, or Darren Helm in 500. Um, Darren Helm sells for like, like one, 1 1.2, 1 1.5. And then, so that's like uh, almost a 2K trade. Uh, I don't really know what Griffin is going for right now. I know he used to go for like 3 to 4K. Griffith, sorry. Um, I just really don't want the three extra cards, pretty much. So I'm going to reject this one, and I'll accept the Darren Helm one. Enjoy my Camilleri. I'll enjoy my Darren Helm. And uh, oh, he sold for 750 So... Uh, I don't know if that was a good trade, but I'll take it anyways. Uh, and let's move on to the last trade here, Taylor Hall. Um, yeah, I think that's the best offer I'm going to get. Uh, I'm going to delay it for a little bit, and then I'm going to come back to it in about an hour or maybe like 15 minutes. I'm going to tweet out uh, last calls for Taylor Hall. But, uh, yeah, so I'll be back. Okay, guys, I am back, and uh, I think that's the best offer I'm going to get for Taylor Hall. Keith Yandel, star of the week, and 100 k there you go. Uh, hopefully you enjoy your Taylor Hall. I'll enjoy my Keith Yandel. Yeah, last little for 70K, so definitely a good trade on my part. And uh, I'm probably going to hold on to him for a bit. Oh, my Mark Stahl is sold. Uh, I'll, I'll hold on to him for a bit and uh, see if his price goes up. But, uh, yeah, guys, thank you for this uh, trade day. Pretty cool. Uh, I've never really done one of these before, and it's pretty cool to see all the trades that you guys send me. Except for there's, there was one douche who uh, kept on sending trades in my hall. And literally, I kept on rejecting them. He kept on sending more of just random contracts. But uh, whatever. It's whatever. All fun and games. But um, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know down below. And let me know down below what players I should get for a trade day. As you can see, I have 250 k So I, can, I have a good amount to uh, spend uh, on getting some players for you guys for trade days. And uh, So yeah, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know down below. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.